examples shown, you have already seen one of the major advantages of Somatic Batch. With its modular design, Somatic Batch can be adapted easily to the customer requirements in terms of numbers of objects and functions. To conclude this section, we would like to draw your attention to other important highlights of Somatic Batch. The tight integration of Somatic Batch in PCS7 makes repeated entry of configuration data during engineering unnecessary. The process model configured for use in the automation system is also used in Somatic Batch. Therefore, no additional equipment editor, as needed with some other batch systems, is required. It is also not necessary to program or configure interfaces between the batch system and the automation system. Modifications in the engineering system can be adopted with an update function in Somatic Batch. During operation, Operator inputs and messages or alarms are automatically logged in the batch reports. Batch unit and phase faceplates are available as standard on the OS. Somatic Batch supports the formulation of equipment-independent recipes. Somatic Batch supports dynamic unit allocation. Units can be allocated based on a variety of strategies. The batch planner can assign a specific unit to use during batch planning. Somatic Batch can dynamically allocate a unit based on the process classes assigned to the recipe unit procedure. The recipe author can allocate the unit at the beginning of the batch or when the unit is needed at runtime. An external source, such as an MES system, can be used to allocate the unit. To increase availability, hot standby redundancy is available. With the recipe editor, Somatic Batch provides a convenient tool that you can work with simply and intuitively to graphically create and administer both flat and hierarchical recipes. With access protection, electronic signatures, and other functions, Somatic Batch meets the requirements of 21 CRF Part 11. Somatic Batch has an integrated planning system for batches. This allows the allocation of units and the timing of batches to be visualized in the form of Gantt diagrams. The Batch API optional package allows simple interfacing of applications from the Manufacturing Execution Level, MES, with Somatic. Technical processes can be roughly divided into industrial processes and discrete parts manufacturing. In industrial processes, Liquid, solid, or gaseous materials are produced by biological, chemical, or physical processes. Serious danger is often involved in industrial processes, such as the risk of explosion or contact with poisonous substances. Safety is therefore a major aspect in the automation of such processes. Generally, an industrial process must not be interrupted, and it is often difficult to predict exactly how long it will take to produce the product. Discrete parts manufacturing creates production lots of a product, such as screws or automobile bodies or bottle filling. They are normally mechanical processes. The main emphasis here is on throughput and speed. Both types of process can be further divided into the categories manufacturing processes, distribution processes, and storage processes. Processing in industrial processes includes, for example, chemical reactors, as used in the chemical or pharmaceutical industries. Processing in discrete parts manufacturing can be found, for example, in turning shops or in rolling mills. Distribution in industrial processes typically makes use of tankers or pipelines. In discrete parts manufacturing, distribution might involve assembly lines and packing machines. Storage in industrial processes includes, for example, tank farms or silos. In discrete parts manufacturing, for example, high-rack warehouses.